morning. What a wonderful summer morning it is to clean out a grain bin. Well, this time it's full of wheat. Yeehaw. big thing going on today we bought a lift for the building because the electrician didn't have one we were going to, have to rent one by telling we rent one for as long as he's going to need it we were able to buy a old used one hopefully the batteries are good and this one right here you plug an extension cord into that and it gives you power to that outlet on the platform oh, oh electric. right so that little lift it's going to be real handy for the electrician obviously but it's going to be pretty handy even whenever uh, the electrician's done. We're going to be keeping that. Uh, the ceiling in there is 30 foot tall. That thing goes up 26 feet, and you know at some point you're going to need to get up there. So figured it wouldn't be a bad thing to have around. Brian, remember that one time, like two or three years ago, we greased all these bearings. That bearings up. Well, I was going to ask you if you remember any other times between now and then, because I sure as hell don't. Yes, that bearings out. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Don't think we should do it here with the torch. Zach, it's always important when you're working on stuff to make sure you have the right tools for the job. Yep. Hold that there, Brian. Punch, hammer, hold Hey, by God, I believe she's gonna come off of there. Moving. She's gonna come off of there. Vice over there. There's a hole in that table. Uh, no. Okay, well, she's doing that. She's got a torch. Punch. Maybe we can punch a hole in this. Hey, look at that. Son of a why did I go after the torch? Hit my truck and put a scratch in it. God Landon, what's Whose that? idea was that? Where'd he scratch that? <laughs> Now find bearing. So BJ's going after some bearing parts. So while we're waiting on him, we'll go back to the house site, see what kind of progress is being made back there today. Building crews wrapping up the shop project. Now if we just had electric and water ran to it, we'd be in good shape. Morning. So we're gonna go clean out a grain bin. It's 6.30. It's already hot and humid. Not really hot, but man, it is muggy but it's the best time to go do it, so we're gonna go do it now. Building guys are here bright and early. So this is their last day for a couple weeks. Basically the gutter guys come next, and then uh, once we get done painting the offices, the uh, building guys come in and uh, hang some trim, and that's it. Building's pretty much done. We still don't have electric or water, but we'll get there. Now, it would certainly appear that BJ has beat me here. So I guess I didn't show up, but we did get a new bearing and everything's back in business. Now it was not a lack of grease that took that bearing out. We have AGI cables in this bin, basically moisture sensing cables. And just to tie them down with fish line, well, the fishing line went into that auger wrapped around that shaft and took that bearing out, so not ideal. I guess we need to use less thick tis uh, fishing line, less, less thick fishing line. So DJ is just going around and pulling the grain back from the end of the bin. And then we're gonna let the sweep go around one more time and then we'll actually get in there to sweep. So Brad don't get here till about 8.30 every day. It's only seven right now, that truck's about loaded. So we are going to um, start the other truck up and just load it too. Brad will take them both in. We have a big day today. We got some Titan tires going on the Fent tractor today. So that'd be exciting. But either, anyways, me and BJ are gonna be there for that. That wheat harvest is over. All of our trucks run good again. Got the Kenworth back a few days after wheat harvest and both the Peterbilts are running good. So I guess that is a good thing about wheat harvest. 
we found that out that all the trucks were bad for actual harvest. Having said that, they were all at a mechanic shop when we started wheat harvest. I guess we would have found out either way. We were found out before. Dad's over here bulldozing, grading off the parking lot. Building crews taking some of the equipment out of here because, well, like I said, they're pretty well done. Just about. All right, tire guys are here. Time to get some W's on the fence. So guys from Best One Tire, they're going to mount these for us with some pretty cool equipment. That crane is going to make it awesome compared to us trying to manhandle these with skid steer. Today, right? Yeah. Back I feel like there needs to be a t-shirt with them picking that tire up and one of them little aliens from Toy Story saying that. Yeah, see my t-shirt. I hear you don't mess with Disney. Your intellectual property. I don't know, Ben. I think we should do it. Farmfocus.com, check it out, folks. Landon, why didn't you throw those up there? I threw up my back yesterday. Did you? Yeah. You know, Pat, an LSW banner would look real good hanging on that wall I, I over there. We're going to need to get you the biggest one we have. It's, we'll a, have it's a big talk, wall. We'll to to now, we're selling we'll slots in, the, in between the trusses that. like outfield fences. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> now you're up the game here. Is that right? That's one of the whole deals with LSW is that when we develop it. So when we take off with cold tires in the middle of December, it, we're not going to get this member? <laughs> oh, no. Perfect. Uh, no, you, 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 get a, you okay. might get a little bit a little of it bit. still with a, with a radial, radial, but I you got know, with this LSW, yeah, yeah. we always like to say, you know, you think of the sidewall as a uh -huh. spring. Uh -huh. We shortened the spring, we built in the dampening effect of the, of the oh, okay. to the tire okay. to smooth out your ride. So, you know, you might, you might hit something on the road and yeah. instead of it sitting there you know, loping for the next mile while that tries to, to yeah. work out of there, it just dampens it right out. Attracted quite the quite the photogenic presence here. I, mean, that, I just made that word up. <laughs> Pat, you're gonna put that on back on there by yourself, aren't you? All right. Heavy lifting. That's how we do it at Titan. <laughs> Landon, are you gonna help him? Like I said, I threw it on my back. <laughs>
say I'm really glad that uh, they have that. It's a skid steer, it would have been really difficult. The amount of wrenches thrown and words said. So right now, we're driving the tractor back and forth a little bit. Those wheel weights have to go back on, but we have to torque the wheels first. We cannot reach those lug nuts once the wheel weights are on. So we're gonna drive around, make sure everything's loosened up and tight. Or like, drive around, then we're gonna tighten everything up, torque it to the right spec, put the wheel weights on, then we'll be done. And then we'll actually put the tractor on scales, adjust the air pressure accordingly. But right now, it's one o'clock, we're gonna eat some ham and cheese subs. You know, an LSW would have made a little bit better of a table, I believe. I think so. So after fighting to get fenders on this tractor, we had to take them off. If you've been watching the channel for a while, when we ordered this tractor, it was supposed to come with fenders. It didn't. It took a long time to get them. Put them on about two months ago. And, well, now they're off. Basically, we are, uh, we're going to tear them up if we kept running them, so... Instead of doing that, we just took them off. At full lockout, uh, the tire would start to get into them pretty bad now. It doesn't appear that we're getting into anything else. Turn them pretty short. Everything else seems to have clearance. Just gonna go back and forth, try to see if those tires or lug nuts are gonna loosen up, then we'll torque them. And uh, weigh, weigh it out to ballast the tractor, and we'll be done. Feels like we can turn pretty frickin' short now. Wow. weights back on now. They've retorqued the wheels and then we got the scales out here. Yeah, I, I don't want to... He's down to 12 PSI all the way around. They were, really, yeah, they were in the upper 40s from the factory for shipping weight, but uh, for shipping, but a little overinflated, so we're dropping things back down. So I guess we've joined the dub club. We're gonna go over here to stage this thing for a picture because this tractor is going to be at Farm Progress Show and. Well, they want a picture of it for some bannering, so might as well take the picture in front of the new shop. Now, one more day and the shop will be pretty much done, but right now there's still some construction crew stuff and whatnot in front of the big door. Otherwise, we just do it right there. And we're gonna pull it over in front, right in front of the porch. We don't really have electric to that door yet, so they're just opening it with a generator. Otherwise, get their stuff out of the way, I'd park it right under that door and get a good pick, but I think we'll just go to the front. Just go over here to the side. All right, photo shoot is done. The tractor tires are installed. It's 95 degrees and extremely humid. I believe I'm gonna go park this thing and go cool off. Give me something cold to drink, call it a day. Thanks for watching everybody. Like I say, this will be at the Titan Tire Booth and Farm Progress show. We will be there one day. I don't know which day yet, but uh, stand by for that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you would do us a favor, thumbs up the video. Give us a comment. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Be honest. I think we have the, I think we have the coolest fit on YouTube right now. You know, while editing this video, it dawned on me that there's a few things that we forgot to cover, such as what are we going to do with this tractor? What's its purpose? And how will the tires affect its purpose? Will we still be able to do what we used to do with it? So this is our corn planting tractor. This is uh, the corn planting tractor and grain cart tractor. Now grain carting, these aren't going to make any difference as far as ne a negative difference. I have no concerns whatsoever with it. Now one thing that we do with this tractor is that some people are going to be a little confused about. We plant corn with this tractor on strip tilt ground. 
normally we'd be straddling those strips but that's not gonna have any more because this tractor has tires that will not straddle corn rows unless we went to like 120 inch rows then it'd probably work but i don't think it's gonna matter i am interested to see how that works um i know a few people that are planting corn um with the lsws and they do fine one thing people worry about is pinch rows or uh, running over that ground that the planter is going to plant in how will this do there i think we're gonna be fine i think if anything it might be better because the weight is more evenly distributed but anyways i did want to cover that because i was sure someone was going to ask how are you going to strip tail with this or whatever but the only thing that i don't think we will want to do with our dubs is a uh, side dress corn I don't, I don't think we'd want to side dress with this tractor now which is fine so we don't side dress and if we did, we have another tractor. But yep, there she is in all of her glory. Definitely a bit of an echo. Like I said earlier in the video, this will be at the Titan Tire booth during Farm Progress Show. I believe Wednesday, Dad, my brother, and myself will also be at the Titan Tire booth. So stop in, check out the tractor, say hi to us, and yeah, hopefully we'll see you guys there. But thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Drop us a comment. And um, we'll see you in the next video.